All right, guys, and welcome back. Right, it is cold Easter Saturday, Easter weekend Saturday, and I am helping a friend do some work with his 350Z, and it's just arrived. So here it is. We have an array of GT cars from the early Northeast. Look at this 350Z, Porsche 911, DB7 Vantage. Woo. So, what's the plan, Scott? Make it not broken, okay. So why is this 350Z here? Well basically, Scott in December was quoted two and a half grand to fix this. It went for MOT, it failed on corrosion on rear subframe braces, mount things. Yeah. Not sure. Um, the parts were about 500 quid, so like two grand in labour. And we've kind of had a quick look and can't see where they got the two grand from. So I said, bring it over and I'll do it for a curry. Because I'm nice like that. So we're going to check the car up, have a look, see what's wrong with it. So this is what we're fitting. Now I am no 350Z expert, but these are meant to be structural. I mean, yeah, no idea. So it's kind of failed on excessive corrosion. Don't really know what they do. I think they brace the rear subframe. I'm assuming that does as well, but I really don't know. So we're going to jack the car up now, I think, and just have a look and see where they've got the two grand repair bill from. So Scott's just going to jack it up. Have you got any questions, Scott? Is it going to roll out the door? Um, there's a there's a chance it could roll out the door, but I mean, if you lay underneath it, then I should be okay. <laughs> Scott fixes bridges for a living. He he makes tower bridge go up and down. Apparently, that's what I've been told. It makes lots of things go up and down, apparently. So I've been told. His wife disagrees. <laughs> so this is one of the offending items. It's kind of like a brace that ties the chassis into the subframe. We have a new one here. So that's kind of got to come off somehow. Bolts all look very rusty, as you can see. This brace has got to come off. I know visibility is pretty crap guys but bear with me so yeah i'm gonna take this off now and go from there so i removed this brace well this side of the brace here so i can get to these bolts so that's kind of come off fairly easily there's even a stone here that's nice isn't it i think someone's been here before because there's five bolts holding it on and every single one is different it's got a different head so we've got like a voxel bolt there we've got like a bmw bolt we've got they're all kind of like not really the right ones. So yeah, a bit weird, but who knows? We'll sort it. Scott's gonna do the other side now, aren't you, Scott? Something like that. Yeah. Now we have got the vehicle on actual stand, so you can see here. Um, but it is a bit sketchy, so we're, using, we're keeping the jack there just in case. We don't want to get squished today. So, over to you, Scott. Lovely. So guys, one side is off, and as you can see, this is why they failed it. So this one big nut goes through here, clamps through the rear subframe, and these two go into the floor. And then you've got like a V-brace which goes over the top with lots of different weird bolts. So that other bit is actually snapped off. It's like a, I don't know, some kind of little brace bit. And that bolt goes through, that nut, sorry, goes through this bit here. So the subframe has kind of dropped down a little bit, but it shouldn't matter. Sorry about the, um, the camera. Best. So yeah, this bit is actually detached and is actually that bit there, but it's just broken off. Not good. Right guys, so this side's now off. Um, really tight for space there, but that's it. This stud comes out the floor here and holds the subframe and then it bolts to the floor there. So we've kind of got the, the structural bits off. However, this little tie-in brace, which kind of just holds the handbrake cables and a few things looking at it, is stuck in there. And I think the only way to get that out, if I'm honest, is to take the subframe down, which is a bit of a pig. So I'm going to see if I can be resourceful and uh, think outside the box. So we've got this off. And we crudely snapped it basically, a bit awkward, but because this kind of, the prop shaft and all the handbrake cables, all the exhaust, this kind of tucks through the um, subframe. So you kind of got to take the subframe off to do it properly. 
we've decided to cut it, snap it, so we kind of cut it with a hacksaw blade and then snap the last bit. It's a bit awkward, but it's going to save us a lot of time. Now, obviously, I can't get the new one in, but my plan is I'm going to cut this here because this literally, it doesn't really brace anything. It just kind of holds a couple of bits. So it's just like a little a tie-in bracket, really. It's not any, it's not structural. So I'm going to cut here. I'm going to weld some tabs on with some captain nuts and then I can bolt it or captive studs or something. So we can just nut and bolt it. Um, so it's going to be nice and strong. I'll paint it black. You'll never know. What do you reckon? Nice engineering solution. Filming? Yeah. Cool. Right, so obviously I've chopped this. I've done a bit of panel beating and made this little bracket, which fits like that. So that's basically that is going to be welded on here. I'm going to have a couple of studs welded to this, and then the other bit's just going to bolt through with some nuts. So I'll make that nice and strong, and I'll paint it all black, and it'll be like it'll be like Nissan intended. So we've done it, welded it up, made a little bracket. I might weld the bolts on, I might not. I'm going to see how it fits first because the bolts might get in the way, but I'm really happy with that. It's really strong. I use two mil plate, it's welded really nicely as you can see. So nice and strong. I'm going to paint it black, well, prime it, paint it black, and it's going to look factory. Right, all painted black now. It looks pretty OE if you ask me. I'm not going to weld the bolts in. Um, just because I think it's going to make it more awkward to fit, so I'm just going to slide them in, put the bolts on, wrap them up. Beautiful. Right, so now the brace is done, I'm going to put these back on. So I've just wire wheeled the bolts up a little bit. Yeah, we could have got new, but we didn't. We have replaced a lot of the other ones, because um, I've got some, but these ones we're going to put back on. That's an unusual size nut. But I'm going to put plenty of copper slip on, because as we know, everything needs a good bit of loop. This is the nice new one. That's the old one, as you can see, significant difference. All right, I'm gonna try and get under now to put it on. One side of your subframe mounted. Magic. Oh, Scott. We've done it wrong. Done what wrong? Because that bit's got to go on afterwards. Ah. So these studs go downwards? Yeah. Is it? Is that in the right place, Scott? Looks it, because I got it wedged against the fuel tank, then I'll try and take it out. Mm. It's slightly old. I have a horrible feeling that the bracket you've made is right underneath the uh, prop. Prop. It is. Was that intentional? Yeah, it's a. I reckon I can get to it. I think it's just to the left of it. Or right. I think it's alright, I don't want to. I'm not worried. Okay. Got it in. So there's the join just across the top of the prop shaft. 
difficult to get to, but much easier than taking all this lot off. So I'm really happy with that, just need to bolt it up. No, this is going to be hard. I'm honest, I meant to cut the other side because the other side's got a little bit more room and I've got the wrong side. Not working a lot, but like a little bit that like I can get my hand in there. I yeah. Can't. In my head, I did cut the other side, obviously didn't. Right guys, as you can see that's bolted up now, it's really hard to get the nuts on. I did actually weld the bolts on in the end to make them captive, because I'm really struggling, but yeah. Got them on, so now we can literally just bolt this brace on on the other side, this bracket, and tie it all up and it's done. That's literally saved us a two grand repair bill, amazing really. Lovely. Beautiful. So, this W bar, brace, whatever you want to call it, it's all bolted up back. These are on now. This bit's on. Beautiful. That should pass an MOT now. Fingers crossed. So, all back together. Dead chuffed. It took us about four hours in total, maybe five. But we did faff out a little bit. Um, we weren't quite as straightforward as we wanted it to be. The nuts which hold this little brace bit on here are fine. We didn't have any new ones and the bolts were really, really poor condition, so I had to cut into them just to cut the bolts off to ensure the nuts were okay, because it's bank holiday weekend, we're not going to get any from anywhere else. So yeah, we've done that, that took us back maybe an hour. But yeah, we got there in the end. Yeah, I don't know where the garage got the two grand repair bill, because if you say it's £100 an hour, that's still only 500 quid. I've done it for a curry. Aren't I a good guy? So if you enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, hit the like button, look at my other videos, and stay tuned for more. See you later, bye-bye.